Hi, today we're looking at the first steps to managing stress. Welcome to Parkinson's Wellness Wednesdays. My name's Alison and I'm an exercise physiologist with Parkinson's New South Wales. The goal of stress management isn't to get rid of it completely. Not only is that impossible, but as we mentioned, stress is good sometimes. To manage your stress, you firstly need to identify the things that cause your stress and what your triggers are. Then figure out which you can avoid and those you can't avoid, find methods to help you cope with and manage those stresses. Typical causes of acute and chronic stress can be a natural disaster, i.e. COVID, uh, chronic illness, people with Parkinson's, an accident or illness, crime, family problems, unhappy relationships, divorce, um, caring long-term for a loved one, um, all of those sorts of things. There's no end to the things that can cause a person's stress. It's as varied as people are. By managing your stress levels will help you lower your risk for health stress-related problems. And of course, you'll feel better too. Here are some basic lifestyle ways to help you manage stress. Maintain a healthy diet. Make sure you get heaps of fruit and veg and um, all the energy vitamins, etc., that you may need that can be recommended to you. Aim for seven or eight hours sleep each night. Exercise regularly. Minimise your caffeine and alcohol. Stay socially connected. Have that social group. Meet your friends. Go out for a picnic. Very, very important, that one. Make time for rest and relaxation and self-care for you. Do something nice for yourself. And learn relaxation techniques, things like deep breathing and meditation. I'll be going over some more de-stressing ideas next week and techniques, but if you find it difficult to manage your stress or if, you're accompanied, or if your stress is accompanied by anxiety or depression, see your doctor ASAP. These conditions can be managed with treatment, but only if you seek help. You want to feel better, go and get some help. You might consider consulting with a therapist or other mental health professional, but you can certainly start with your general GP. If you're feeling very stressed and want urgent help or advice, call Lifeline 131114 or Beyond Blue on 1300 224 636. This week's quick de-stressing exercise is to take a break. That's not hard. Sit down, check your body for tension, find out where it is, relax your face or mus muscles. Let them just drop. Let's look at those jowls and wrinkles. Let your jaw go down, your shoulders, your arms, loosen your hands, uncross your legs and feet, feel your thighs sink into that chair. Let your legs relax comfortably. Feel your shins and calves become heavier and your feet growing roots into the floor. You're just sinking down, letting gravity take you. Breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. And just keep thinking of sinking further into the chair, into the floor and relaxing with nice, deep, slow breathing. That one's not a hard one, so you can practice at any time. These exercises aren't intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Please consult your own health professional team before engaging in online fitness programs. Type any questions you have into the comments section. If you prefer not to write in comments, please send us a private message through Messenger or call our info line on 1800 644 189. Thanks for watching. Keep well and I'll see you next Wednesday.